Ah, there we go. Hi, this is DOSBox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. You might remember at the beginning of the current turn that the teal player gave us some wood and wanted some gold in exchange. This button is how you get to the screen where you can trade resources to other players. Obviously, we're not going to give resources to purple. But we'll give some to Teal. And I think a thousand should be enough to satisfy them. Well, since they gave us 14 wood, maybe. Okay, 1400 at the most. It would be nice if you could just use the numeric keypad too. Enter how much would you or enter how much resources you're gonna give. Okay. There. And then to switch back, we click this button and we're back at the regular marketplace screen. Now, time to build what we're going to build. Maybe a resource silo. And then, let's hire some troops here. Even the low level ones, just to make sure we've got a decent garrison in the town. Or at least the beginning of a decent garrison. So, yeah, beginning of the fourth week. Oh, okay, who still needs to move? Cuthbert. Okay, I think we will have him gradually work his way. Back over towards where he came in. Because I think Sonya is coming out that way, and that might give us a way to move artifacts from where they are to where they need to go. Okay. Another report. As much as I hate writing them, I wish I had something other than bad news to give to my niece. Queen Allison, I have experienced some setbacks over the last week. Worthington was attacked four days ago. The attack came at night. A cowardly yet destructive assault that left several buildings burned to the ground. The only good part is we lost no troops. The army wasn't the enemy wasn't trying to kill, just demoralize. A warning to you, my queen, the tunnels are not safe. Do not travel them without a heavy escort, for me and my captains or my captains and I have been ambushed many times already. Of course, you know, Tarnum used to be a barbarian, so why should he know good grandma? I do not want anything to happen to you. Fine, Tarnum. So we lost some wood and some ore and some gold. <laughs> so it's a very good thing that Teal did give us some wood last turn. Okay, and now... I suppose this would be our last chance to... pick up any additional units that we want to get. Return, which I think in this case would be just the units that Caitlin was able to recruit in that town last turn. And now we'll head Tarnum towards the quest guard, finally. Okay, we'll have Cuthbert pick up that little bit of resources right next to where he was. And we will bring him back towards the underworld entrance. Maybe he can stop at the stables. And then... That's the last sap boost I think we wanted to have Sonya visit. And we'll bring her towards the underworld entrance and 
she's got the card of, cards of prophecy that that seer wants. Can't afford to build anything this turn, so we're just going to move on to the next turn. Oh, did you see that purple hero come down there? Yeah. And we've got a teal hero there, but he's not going to do any harm, I think. The mercenaries agree to let you pass in exchange for six demons as recruits. Do you wish to make the exchange now? What kind of mercenaries are they? Okay, let's see if we can get out. The king would like some heck hounds as hunting dogs. Nine should do. We need to look outside the kingdom though. Bring them and we'll let you through. Okay. So I guess we have to... <laughs> We might have to have uh, Tyrus bring some Heckhounds up to Tarnum. Okay, Sonya, why don't you deliver those cards of prophecy? Oh! Just what we needed. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Sonya, you head here. And hope to goodness you can make it through that ambush. Yeah, that's not so bad. She's not quite defenseless. Do a nice magic gear on the demons. And it doesn't quite eliminate them, but that's okay. Move our champions there. And hopefully the zealots can finish them off. Good. And then we'll have Cuthbert give her and the sack of four. Sonia, can you get out of this way? And yeah, he's still gonna have to go that way to reach Dark Storm. Well, now we can actually afford to build things. Okay, so do not upgrade that. Because I think that they want nine heck outs. Could build a Forsaken Pals, but I think we should concern ourselves with other things first. Because building the Tier 7 creature dwellings. Normally very expensive. some more troops for you. Oh wow, that's a big difference from the situation we were in last turn. Now, we're going to have Tyrus run some Heckhounds up to Tarnum. Yeah, 
it looks like that teal here was still continuing to visit the stat boost up here, which I don't mind as long as they don't flag our stuff. Tyrus, I'm going to try to move you up towards Tarnum so Tarnum doesn't have to travel as far to get back to the underworld. Okay, I'll just have you swap your hackhounds for Tarnum's demons. And maybe you can give your gogs to him. And then we will have Tarnum head back underground. And now he should be able to get out. Excellent! You found the nine hell heckhounds the king is so anxious to see. Let them go with us and you may pass. Okay, and... Look, there's a purple castle right there. I suppose we could flag some of the mines that Purple had captured. And then Sonya can visit the stables. And then she can go back through here. And head for that Seer's Hut where they want the Endless Card of War. She does have it, right? Okay. And then we'll build stuff. I wonder if maybe we want to hire a garrison hero. A Valesco or maybe Leon. Maybe Valesca. Those archers would be good in defending against sieges. Okay, that'll work. Okay, and that purple girl is still fleeing. Straight to Tarnum. Yeah. And it looks like the purple player has one of those fog of war, fog of darkness built things built at one of their castles. You know, it's a pretty weak army. I think we can just auto combat this. Yeah. I think 
I still want to head back up that way. Ooh, look at that. Definitely want to take that other purple hero out. Maybe capture the purple castle. But if we can take the purple hero out before he gets inside the castle, that would be super. Now, I think this would be a good time for one of those nice chain lightning spells. Oh, except that we can't. Wow. Curse ground and we're stuck with level one spells. So, magic arrow it is. Uh, let's start with the beholders. Okay. Maybe we'll put the Royal Griffins to guard the dogs. And we'll move the heck hounds on the other side of the dogs. Okay, everybody's out of range. Okay, skeletons are gone. And I think we'll move the halberders down to protect our marksmen. And we'll move the skeleton warriors. Mm, we'll move the skeleton warriors up to protect the marksmen too. And then. Okay, we'll have the Gog shoot at the vampires, take them out, and then we'll move our walking dead in front of the dogs. Okay, it looks like it doesn't matter a whole lot. Alright, next round, and I think we'll do a magic arrow on the walking dead, weaken them a lot, and then we'll have the royal griffins take care of the harpies, and we'll move the heck hounds to the other side of the gods. Probably didn't have to, but... Oh well. Good. Now, oh boy. Yes. Well, almost. Rats. Well, hopefully they don't have any extra troops they can hire. Okay, meanwhile we can have Tarnum, I mean, Cuthbert. Flag anything and everything purple. He could really use a visit to that magic well. Okay, now we're going to start heading Sonya up towards that Seer's hut. And we will head Probably hit Tyrus back towards the castle, in the Infernal Castle. Maybe the Order of Fire, or maybe start building the 
Yeah, the upgraded creature dwellings. Okay, we won't worry about that. Okay, Purple hired a few more troops there. Let's see if we can take out that castle. It really isn't that strong a garrison. Though I would note that they appear to have the, the all three arrow towers there, so that's... is going to give us a bit more of a problem. Now, let's see if we are still stuck with level 1 spells here. Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, it was worth checking. And I guess that's probably something common to all necromancer castles. Yeah, definitely the whites because they can bring Tarnum spell points. I think we'll move the Royal Griffins there. And the Heckhounds there. we will attack the vampires. And we'll move our remaining melee troops forward. Ah, oh, good! Skeletons are coming out to play. And get slaughtered. So, we eliminated the purple player, now we just have to find the other tents. I think we found the, the blue one, and we need to find the red one. Ah, that one that d that's not marked, that's a green one. So there should be a red tent and a green tent around somewhere. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, we might as well build this up a bit. Yeah, have Tarnum go visit the Mage Guild. Okay, you can buy a first aid tent. Oh. Yeah. Now, the trick is to flag all this former purple stuff before the teal player gets at it. I mean, the teal player is nice and all, but still. Okay. Sometimes, the purple player will take out the teal player. And then, you can just capture all, all the stuff that Teal used to use for yourself. So anyway, we'll be looking for the other two Keymasters tents in the next episode, so we'll see you then.